All right, creators. Hello, hello. How are y'all doing? I hope all is well for all is indeed well with me. I am so excited to just get into it. Um, Welcome back. It's a welcome back, so I'm going to make sure I'm saying welcome back to each and every one of you. My name is The Lady Hell. What I am doing, I am helping entrepreneurs make their first 5K online. We are currently right now in the first 5K challenge, and I'm so excited. If you haven't joined us, man, the weeks that has went by have been phenomenal. We're helping entrepreneurs put their systems together, y'all. If you don't have no email, if you don't even know what email automation is, what that means, you need to be in there because if you don't have a system in place, you're going to be running around circles and circles and circles. You're going to be talking about how they, you don't understand how everybody else is making money online because you don't have a system in place. And if you don't have a system in place, you need to be in the first 5K. So today in the how-to series, what we're going to do, we are simply, go, what we're simply going to do is that we are going to literally show you how to put together a nice little set, just like the set that you see, that you see right here, that I'm on. Ta-da! Okay, so let me show you exactly how it is. This is nothing but an iPhone and three lights. Okay, I have the link in the description if you want to go to Amazon and get these things, but I'm going to turn everything off. Okay, and just to really show you, it's only three lights. I'm going to switch the camera so you guys can see. Here I am. I'm on my desktop. I'm on my desktop camera. All right, and I'll show you kind of how to back up the set. So on one side, I have a RGB light over here. I have a RGB light back there. And then I have one light in front of me, okay? And then right here, y'all see that? I'm recording from my iPhone. I'm gonna switch back to my iPhone so you guys can actually um, can actually see, see? See, this is the computer that I'm, I just had y'all on. And then I have my computer, but I'm going in into this program called Wiretest, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, you can do this inside of StreamYard or whatever with the same setup. And you say, well, how do you get that focus like that and all of that? I'm gonna show you, okay? So first of all, I'm using my MacBook Pro, okay? So the MacBook Pro, you if you go on the Amazon link, you will see it over there. I got the link right here and I have the link on here so you can see it. Um, but however, when you go there, you can purchase everything literally on Amazon okay you can get your computer you can get your iPhone if you don't already have I, I an iPhone but this is the simple lighting setup okay so basically um, I'm gonna turn the light off okay because that's I'm gonna turn the light off here and I'm gonna turn the light off here so first let's start turning let's oh glory I hope my my jewels not showing let's turn off the lights here okay so you can see what I mean and I just had this on the case Okay, that's one light off. This is another light off. I'm gonna see how to turn it off. There we go. Okay, and y'all see that? Oops, y'all see that? Turn, I turn my lights off. I'm gonna turn them back on. That's my PSP. If y'all not a part of that, go and join the group. And I'm gonna turn this key light off. Okay, so now when you see me, we're in total darkness. So when you start doing your lighting setup, you want to be in total darkness, okay? So as dark as you can get your room is as dark as you want, okay? I currently have my phone, my phone, my iPhone, my iPhone in photo mode, okay? So as you see there, I always like to light my background up. I like to do mines with different colors. These RGB lights is nothing but like $65 on Amazon and they are really good lights. So we're gonna turn one of them on. There you go, see, let there be light. And look how bright, um, and this is how little it is. See that? And I'm just setting this up just in the background ground just to give it some color, okay? And even if I sit like this, it's dark, you can't see me, etc. but you do see the background, okay? And as you see here, I'm gonna turn on the other light and now we're gonna give that we're gonna give that thing some color, okay? And the only thing else that we need is a spotlight. 
and the spotlight that um, the spotlight that we are using is the Amaran, yeah, Amaran 60s or 60D, whatever it is. It's 169 dollars at this current moment on Amazon. Um, it's a 60 wide, it's a 60 watt LED light, and I have it maybe about five feet away from me, and it's it's not even turned up a lot. I think it's only turned up on. Um, let me turn it on. Let's see. Okay. it's actually only turned up on 17 percent okay and so woohoo now we got that pretty that pretty color that we had I'm gonna share my screen with you because when I share my screen I'm gonna let you look at my settings this is Wirecast I've been using Wirecast for years so on um, on Apple it has this thing called continuous mode and on continuous mode it allows you to use your front facing camera. As you see, if I turn the studio light off, you'll start to see a difference, okay? But if I turn that on, I got the studio light on, and I also have it in portrait mode, okay? If I turn this off, this, this is what controls the lens, lens. So when I put it on portrait, and I could put, you know, basically I'm opening the f-stop. The f-stop is like the amount of light that I'm allowing inside the camera, so if I have it, all the way up, I have it all the way down to I think it's 2.2 that the lens go. And you see that it blurs my background out and it kind of gives me what we like to call the bokeh effect, okay? Now, if I bring it down some, you can clearly see that it's open. But if I wanted it to kind of be like in between, etc., I'm able to do that. I'll go to the screen so you can see as I'm playing with it here. How that works okay I'm just over here on that portrait mode you're gonna see when I go like this my black my background is getting blurred that's called a bokeh effect that means that there is space between us it's depth in between us um, and I have it on the highest the highest amount of light can get in um, into the camera or I can just bring it down I could uh, bring my f-stop down okay so that's all it is and you can play with that to how you want it maybe I don't want people scanning my my husband's um, thing or whatever but I'm proud of that okay that's when my husband first uh, started he used to do an episode called coffee and chat and that was one of my um, favorite uh, thing because it's actually his design and I put it on a thing and, and I have it in one of the spaces in the creative space okay I use the corner and the reason why I use the corner because a corner gives us so much room and so it looks like that there's like a lot of room even it might not be that much space it's just a little it, I, when I tell you just a little video corner it's just a little um, it's just a little bitty it's just a little bitty corner inside um, in inside of my creative space okay so that's all it is to lighting and you can get amazing lights like this and you can live stream etc with just those lights so if you want to get some of these lights right here to start your streaming, to start your recording, what, y'all, yeah, I don't know, let me come out of this, sorry. I bet y'all like, who is that? <laughs> but um, if you guys, let me get myself in the right position because it looks like I done moved something. Oops, I need to go over this way. Okay. So if you, if you yourself, you like, hey, Lady Hill, um, I think when I, I, I moved my, I hate when I move my camera. Let me move it to the right way. There you go. I think I had, I had moved the camera when I got up, so I got out of, um, I got out of the focus of the part that I like to do or whatever. And let's say, hey, I want to zoom this in some, et cetera, in your, um, in your thing, you're able to do that as well. See, I can adjust it and put it, um, and put it how. I don't the doubt the dish I always run away with the spoon. So let me get off of here. But I just wanted to bring that to you. Never fails. <laughs> I promise you. I'm not live. But if you're catching this preview, I just wanted to give you that tip of information. You can go to my site below. It's in the description. There is no reason. Hold on. Hey, get the dough. There is no, there is absolutely Get the dog. Sorry. <laughs> oh my God. Y'all never fails, right?
but there is absolutely no reason why you should not have wonderful streaming quality well this is what i got for you okay you stay to the end i have a um I bet you like you and all your day gonna leak, Lady Hill. But seriously, we're gonna put together a cor a little course. It's only gonna be seventeen bucks. Um, if you want to get on the list to know when it's gonna be live, we're gonna have a live event and we're gonna show you exactly how to stream, how to use, how to use um different platforms such as Streamyard or professional ones, whatever. We'll show you how to do some recording and how to do a basic setup so you can start recording and your background can look like this. It don't have to look ugly. It could look well. Your room is different than my room, but yours can look like however you want it to look like. And it doesn't take a lot of money. Your, your stuff can look amazing. Not only that, not only with the lights, everybody always asks me, well, how do you got such great audio? I don't even see nothing on you. Well, my friend, I got this. Um, Y'all see this? This is a road, um, what is called a wireless go to okay you can get the single version or you can get the double version they have the two the one that has the two of them I, we have both actually we have the double version and then we have the sing, we have the we have a single version and what this is this is a wireless um i'm still holding it like this because if i did it like this it might be hard to hear me but this is a wireless um a wireless lavalier system that charges with the usb you can use it on your phone etc some people you know that y'all be putting it right there i'm a big fan of concealing um <laughs> i am a very big fan of hey conceal that thing cover that thing right and i don't do nothing um i just place it in the position where i know that the audio will sound pretty pretty decent and hopefully i don't get to be ruffling and tuffling and making up too much noise and then you start here <laughs> like that but um anywho that's how i get really great audio is by using the rode video mic but your biggest investment is always going to be um your biggest investment is always going to be your lights and also your um your audio so you want to invest in that all right so again two lights two R rgb lights make them whatever color um what make them whatever color that make them whatever color you want to make it and then if you know if you want to just adjust it there you can i can adjust it i just move that just around just to show you when you just put your stuff in your position the only thing you really got to do um what it does come to your lighting is just picture it with your eyes okay picture it with your eyes and this is me streaming with an iphone what i don't what iphone i got i think i got the I have the 14. So I have the iPhone 14 and that's what I'm um, using. And I'm using the continuous stream inside of the, um, inside of my recording, my recording software. Okay. Well, until next time, God bless you all. And this has been a, another creative space Academy how to series. God bless.